been working on adding expressions to Abby's iPad a little at a time and so I thought I'd show you how we're doing that with Abby and how to do that. So um, one of the first things that we um, changed was we edited a button. Um, one of the most frequently used ones that she adds to the end of her sentences is please. And so to go ahead and edit it to add the expression, what you're going to do is go over to your pencil edit button and you're going to select the button that you want to edit and then you're going to go over to where it says properties and where it says text to speak I'm going to delete that because I already have it in there and I want to add that to show you um, you're going to go over to where the circle is with the plus in it you're going to press that you're going to see sounds expression and macros I'm going to make a separate video um, to show you what macros is all about but right now we're going to work on expressions. So I'm going to press the middle tab and you're going to see a whole bunch of different expressions you can use. And then you can press the little speaker um, button on the side there to listen to it. So all of the expressions that we're seeing here are made specifically for the voice that I'm using for Abby's vocabulary, which is Ella. So if you want to listen to um, other expressions that are from other voices, what you're going to do is scroll down all the way to the very bottom and you're going to see where it says expressions in other voices. You can press that and all the expressions for all of the voices will come up. But we're going to just stick with um, using Ella's expressions and find please. And there we go. We're going to press all done. I'm going to listen to it now. Please. Please. And so just keep in mind that if you're editing a button, edit, press that, go to properties. Um, if you're editing it, then whatever you already have in the text to speak, if you add the expression, it's going to say whatever you had before and it's going to say the expression. So it'll say please twice if you had it regularly and the please with the expression. So you'll need to remove, delete the first um, word that you have in there if you only want it to say it once with the expression. So just keep that in mind. And then if you want to add a word that you don't already have there, so let's say you don't have the word please, you're going to press the pencil button, press add button just like you would add any button. Then over where the text to speak is, you're going to go over to the circle with the plus in it, press on expressions, and you're going to go through and find the one you're looking for. Remember again, this is the voice of Ella, so these are her expressions. And so you're just going to go down until you find the one that you're looking for. Of course, they're all in alphabetical order. So let's try thank you. Say all done. All done. And it's going to be at the very bottom. So let's listen to the difference. Thank you. There's the regular one, and here's the one with expression. Thank you. Thank you. So that's cute. So then the other um, thing that we have to work with now are sounds. So I showed you expressions. Now I'm going to show you sounds, and I'll show you how I'm using that with Abby. Oh. Under Abby's home folder, she has an animals folder and that's because she has a basket of plastic animals that she really likes. She likes to take them out and she likes to press what the names of them are on her iPad and she even is um, showing them to people now. So it's really cool to be able to add some animal sounds. Not all the animal sounds are available but a lot of them are and so we're going to go ahead and edit a button and we're going to add an ad animal sound to it. So this is what you can do with any of the sounds, or of course you can add one just like I showed you with adding an expression. You can do that with the sounds as well. But we're going to press the pencil, we're going to pick the one we want to edit. Let's try duck. Then we're going to go to properties. And where it says text to speak, you can either leave the word duck there and it will say duck and then the sound, or if you want to take the word duck away, the label, picture on the, on the label will still say duck whatever you have down here and it will just say the sound so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the word there I want it to say the word duck and the sound so I'm gonna go over to my circle here with the plus in it and I'm gonna keep it on the tab that says sounds and I'm gonna scroll down 
and they're all in alphabetical order so you can see what's available and I'm gonna go ahead and press duck I'm gonna press all done and then I'm gonna listen duck quack so it says duck quack so then we've got our sound for our duck so if you don't want the label to say duck quack quack you only want it to speak it when um, they touch it um, you can you can have the label say whatever you want and so just press the pencil button again and press properties pick the one that you want and when you're adding the text to speak you're adding um, the sound it's automatically going to put it down here in the label and so you can have the label say whatever you want so you can take that away and just have it say duck and then in the speak the text to speak it'll still speak duck and then the sound that the duck makes so let me show you duck. So it puts it up into the message window, whatever the text to speak phrase is, and then the label still says duck. So you have that option as well. So that's how you add expressions and sounds. Um, I hope you can find good uses for that with your kiddos. It can be a lot of fun and I think it can add a lot of value. So have fun.